Man, I feel so good to sit down for once. I've been doing so much today that I've earned this moment of relaxation. <sighs> mm. I will admit though, that woman I came across at the elixir store was rather odd to say the least. I mean, she couldn't really be that stupid enough to think that I'd actually believe that she had an elixir that would make men more obedient to me. Not that I'd be against that or anything, but I'd rather do things on my own terms than waste some mystery liquid on a man. And besides, Peter is actually really kind to me, and I couldn't ask for a better man than that. On the other hand, maybe it wouldn't hurt just to do a test run with the elixir. I mean, if nothing happens, then I know the woman was truly crazy. But who would I try it on? I couldn't put Peter through that. I'd feel awful for subjecting him to something like that. Hey, Lily. Hey, Peter. You're home earlier than usual. Did something go wrong at work? Actually, quite the opposite. I was able to get ahead of schedule on all my projects. Once my supervisor noticed this, he gave me the option of going home early for the day since I had everything done. It was a bit of a strange feeling being ahead of things for once, but I'm not complaining or anything. Hey, take advantage of it. Not everyone gets that luxury. I suppose not. It does seem though like you had a productive day as well. I think that's a new record number of shopping bags that I've seen you come back with. Hey, I only get the things that are most essential, thank you very much. Most essential, huh? Okay, so an entire bag of elixirs from Elixirs Forever is m most essential. What's so essential about it? The fact that you're making sure you use spruced up liquids to maintain your life? Well, I mean, okay, fine. So maybe not all my shopping was essential, but once I'm on a roll, there's no stopping me. Now that, I believe. Mainly because I've experienced it with my own eyes. I'm telling you, one of these days, buying this useless stuff will come back to haunt you. Mm, yeah, just a bundle of joy today, aren't you? Sorry. Just a bit exhausted. Even with me getting ahead of my schedule, my day was still pretty demanding. That I don't doubt. So, how are things with that girl you were talking to? Oh, Ashley, you mean. Good. We plan to go out tomorrow night. This time, though... I get to pick the restaurant. It's not that I don't enjoy the place we've gone the last few times. It's just I need something new every once in a while, you know? Absolutely. So, where were you thinking? Well, there's that new steak restaurant that opened up just a few miles away that has been getting some really good buzz. I was thinking about going there. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. What? You don't think it's a good idea? Uh, taking into account that Ashley is a vegetarian... No, not really. They do have more than just steak there, you know. I'm sure they have vegetarian options, too. Peter, listen to your amazing roommate here. That woman will not enjoy that place. If you're asking to be dumped, then by all means, go for it. But I'm telling you, taking her there would be a big mistake. Okay, amazing roommate. Where would you suggest them? Because I'm not going back to that fake meat restaurant she left so much. You could do something simple. Maybe frozen yogurt or something. Mm. I guess I never considered that. I really do overthink these things, don't I? Yes. Yes, you do. I've run the idea by her and see what she says. What would I do without you, Lily? Mm, probably live alone for the rest of your life. Ouch. That was rather hurtful. But I suppose you have a point there. Hey... What's this? This doesn't look like your typical elixir you get. Oh yeah, some crazy lady was giving free samples of it in the store. She said it supposedly makes men obedient to women once applied. I think it's a lot of crap, to be completely honest, but it was free so I just took it. Yeah, that totally doesn't sound crazy at all. I swear, that place has the weirdest people. You're not entirely wrong. So what's your plans for the rest of the evening? Obviously, you're already in your relaxation portion of the night. So is there anything further after that, or is this going to be you for the rest of the night? This will mostly be me for the rest of the night. I may grab some wine and have a few glasses, but other than that, I have no plans of going anywhere. Sounds like fun. Just please, don't overdo it on the wine like you did last time. 
I had to endure some rather, well, let's just say unwanted attention from Tipsy You, and Tipsy You is not your best side. Oh, relax, would you? That only happened once. It's not like it'll happen again. Really? It happened three times since we've been roommates. Three times? Really? Hmm. I don't recall it happening that often. I just recall the one time. That's because the mornings after, you were hung over and couldn't remember a thing. I was just nice enough not to bring it up again. Well, I promise you that won't happen tonight. Besides, I need to be fully rested for tomorrow. Fully rested for tomorrow? What's tomorrow? I'm meeting up with this guy I met a couple days ago. He's really nice, and he owns his own business. Oh, yeah? And what business does he own? He, um, owns, uh, the bike shop downtown? Yeah, that's it. You have no idea what business he owns, do you? Okay, so maybe I don't, but he's still a nice guy. Well, just be careful, all right? Wouldn't want my amazing roommate to suddenly disappear. That's not funny, Peter. Yeah, not for you, but it was a little funny for me. I think I need wine now. She couldn't have shopped that much that she's already asleep. But what do I know? I'm just a guy that doesn't shop nearly as much as her. Ugh, <sighs> Lily. You know you're supposed to put your stuff away first, then relax. This thing looks, it looks like someone put green food coloring in it. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh! That smells absolutely horrible! Seriously, what is the point of this stuff? Like, I generally want to know, be because to me, it just seems like a scam. Uh, I want to serve her. Mm. Did I seriously fall asleep on the couch? Maybe Peter was onto something when he said for me to watch how much wine I drink. Mm. Nine o'clock. I really did get a good amount of rest, it seems. I should probably put my bags away before Peter gets upset with me again. Did he really put all my stuff away? Just watch. When he gets up, he's going to get on me about them anyway before I relax. I just know it's going to happen. Good morning, sleepyhead. No offense, but you look like crap this morning. That's because I couldn't sleep, unlike you who slept all evening and most of the morning, I'm assuming. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just woke up, actually. Must feel good to be all rested up. Did you put my things away last night? Yeah, but I'm in no mood to badger you about it, so just remember next time. All right. I think I can do that. Oh, so did Ashley ever reply back to you on if frozen yogurt would work? Oh, actually, she did. Seems she thought that was the perfect idea, so uh, thanks for the idea. I knew she would. You really should listen to me more often. Right back at you, Lily. Oh, by the way, that new sample you got from the store smells absolutely awful. And how would you know that? Did you go through my things without telling me? No, just that. Seriously, what even is the point of that stuff? It just seems like stuff someone is selling to make a pretty penny or something. For your information, this stuff helps regulate my body and keeps it fresh. Keeps it fresh. Um, right, right. Well, I can tell you that new sample will definitely not keep you fresh. I swear, sometimes I wish you'd just give this stuff a chance. Chris texted me. This early? Maybe he's a bit too excited about our date tonight. Hey Lily, I realize this will be hard to hear, but I'm afraid our date will have to be called off due to the fact that I've kind of got back together with an old friend I used to date. I really enjoyed our time the other day and hope we can still be friends. What a douchebag! He never intended to have a relationship with me at all! Ah! Have I mentioned I really hate men? Yes, Lily. Please, come right in. It's not like we have separate rooms for a reason or anything. Oh, sorry. It's that guy I was telling you about, though. He just sent me a text saying that he went back to dating one of his exes. I swear, some guys are just total jerks. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, 
you didn't exactly know that much about him when I asked you about him last night. Maybe you're right. I just wish I could find a guy who was actually willing to commit to one person and never fool around with other women. There are guys like that out there. But most of them are already married or in a relationship, Lily. I, for one, consider myself to be among those men. Are you feeling a little bit confident all of a sudden? What happened to the groggy little to no sleep you a few minutes ago? I got a text from Ashley. Let's just say she really knows how to brighten my days. Well, good for you. I guess one of us has to be happy this morning. Oh, and speaking of Ashley, she wants to move her date up to a lunch date. Do you think that's a good idea? Should I say yes? Of course you should. It's not like you have anything else planned for today. You have a point there. I just had it planned where we would look at all the beautiful light displays on the dock while we ate our frozen yogurts. Can't exactly do that during the day. Have you mentioned that to her? Maybe if you do, she'd be alright with sticking to the original time. I guess it's worth a shot. We should have our answer soon. In the meantime, could you please get out of my room? Oh, right. Room with a woman, my friend said. She won't bother you, they said. <laughs> Lily, she agreed to it. That's great. I hope it goes well for you, too. Thanks. Now, I hate to be a burden, but I could really use your amazing fashion advice for my attire tonight. Don't say another word. We'll make sure Ashley gets to see a very well-dressed man. Lily, please don't take this out of proportion. Would you relax? Now, let's see what we're working with here. I'll give you this, Lily. I had you look really good. Did you really ever doubt that I'd make you look good? Yeah, yeah, you did a good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Now go show that woman why she picked you out of all the guys in the world to date. That's really optimistic, Lily. Thanks. Hey, that's a compliment to you. She literally had an entire selection of men to pick from, and she chose you. That's saying something. When you put it that way, thanks. Again. <sighs> what would that man do without me? <laughs> I need to uh, touch up my hair. Put my phone on the charger. Please do not unplug it. No worries, I won't touch your precious phone. Man, he must be really insecure about me seeing him do his hair. <laughs> Whatever. On most occasions, I wouldn't do this, but if Lily says this makes her feel fresh, then maybe it'll do the same for me. <coughs> oh gosh, that still seems awful as heck. Whoa, whoa, oh. What's in that stuff? It's almost, it almost feels like I've secretly been put on something really, really strong. My body must be having a reaction to this stuff. Great. Of all times, my body chooses now to react negatively to something. I just need to, I just need to see. Yeah. Peter, I don't know what you're doing in there, but I think you're upsetting your date by not being there. Peter, did you hear me? Hello? What the- where did that man go? The only way out of this room is through the door. Peter, are you here? Come on now, this isn't funny. Ashley's starting to become seriously concerned about you. Hey, that's my new elixir. What's he doing with it? For how much he thought these things were a joke, it's rather funny that I caught him with one. Now, where the heck is he? I didn't realize Peter collected any figures. Huh, that's funny. The clothes on this figure look exactly like the clothes he had on. Holy crap, it moves! I've never seen a collectible figure move like that! Hmm. What happened? Why am I still on my bed? Wait, what time is it? Lily, what time is it? Li what the heck is going on here? What did that stuff do to me? Lily, oh thank goodness you can hear me. Peter? Is that, is that really you? Yes, it's me. Your stupid sib will do this to me. Well, maybe if you hadn't taken it without asking, this wouldn't have happened. Lily, we can discuss that later. Right now we have a huge issue. No, unintended. I'm supposed to be with Ashley right now, but I am far too small to see her. What are we going to do? I really don't know, Peter. I truly don't. But don't worry. We'll figure this out. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs>